Hello friends, welcome to my channel, or back to my channel as the case may be. Today we are doing the five day work week spread. It's a five card spread, and we will be using the Darkwood Tarot to give a demonstration of how this spread works. Let's get into it. So when would you be wanting to use a spread like this? This is for the people who have a typical five day work week, either because they work for themselves or in some sort of office and want a little more insight into how to prioritize the things to do during the week. Card number one is what is the primary goal for the week? What should I be focusing on? Card number two is what should I avoid? What potential pitfall is there waiting for me this week? Card number three, what opportunity should I keep my eyes open for? Card number four, who am I going to need to impress? What person is on the fence about employing me or using the services? What client do I need to put my best foot forward with? And card number five, what should I take from this week to carry forward into the next? So we're going to go ahead and shuffle the cards and see what they have to tell us. Okay. So we have card number one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Card number one, we have the Eight of Swords reversed. This card answers the question, what should I be focusing on this week? We see a person in this card who is surrounded with problems. There is a noose around their neck. There are rats around their feet that are worrying their feet while they are standing on a box that is the only thing keeping them from being hanged. They are surrounded by swords. There are carrion birds waiting to pick them apart. Thankfully, this card is reversed. While there are a lot of problems demanding attention, you get to choose what to focus on. Pick one problem out of your long list and devote this week to that problem. The others can wait. Prioritize one thing to get completely finished this week. That way you will be able to focus on the other problems in the coming weeks. Card number two, anticipated problems. We have the page of pentacles. We see a woman holding a pentacle in her hand, which seems to be the only thing she can focus on. As you attempt to resolve the problem you have chosen to prioritize this week, don't get so wrapped up on it that you ignore the resources you have available to you because you're only looking at the problem. Look to your team. Look to the suppliers that you have. Look at how you can apply the resources at your disposal to solve the problem. Don't get so worked up that you are the only one who can solve it. That you are the only one who can be the hero in this case. You have resources. Utilize them. Card number three, what opportunities are there this week? We have the Ace of Wands reversed. The Ace of Wands usually represents ignition. It is the starting point of something. Being reversed, there's not going to be a lot of opportunities this week. Rather than seeking to start something new, resolve what is already on your plate. Card number four, who will you need to impress this week? We have the High Priestess reversed. The High Priestess represents someone who is a feminine teacher, someone who knows the feminine skills of the world. Think those who are skilled communicators, negotiators, nurturers. Being reversed, those are not the traits of the person that you are seeking to impress. You are looking for someone who is typically more hard, harsh, someone who doesn't share their thoughts easily. That is the person you are seeking to impress this week. Card number five, what can you build on 
from this week, carrying it forward into the next week. We have the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is a card of conflict. It is where there is some form of clash. Being wands, it is about ideas. It is high passions. What you should be taking forward with you is your willingness to fight for your desires, to stand up for yourself, to stand up for your company and your company's needs. Another interesting aspect of this card, if you look at the art, is what are the, the imps fighting over? They are fighting over a mushroom. Mushrooms are the cleanup crew of the natural world. They take absolutely anything that has died, anything that has fallen, and they break it down into its component parts so that it can then be recycled into life again. You can find those kind of aspects in this week. What needs to be recycled, even if you need to argue for it? What needs to be repurposed? Find those things and draw them forward into the next week. That brings us to the end of this five-day work week spread. Do you agree with my interpretations? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments. Did you enjoy this? If so, go ahead and leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. That way you'll be notified when more videos come up. And until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.